Warfare is accelerated to a point where nobody can control what is going on. Military implementations of AI are going to be incredibly important. Now the war in Ukraine is driving innovation. And as that conflict drags on, AI's role in it is likely to grow. The field of artificial intelligence is undergoing rapid dynamic growth, where it's reshaping industries and profoundly impacting our daily lives. As we embark on this journey, it becomes crucial to listen to the wisdom of AI experts from around the globe who are tirelessly unraveling the intricate terrain of potential risks in AI. Join us as we delve into their profound insights and unveil the potential risks that may lurk beneath the captivating facade of this transformative technology. Let's begin by delving into the use of AI in the military domain. Well, the integration of AI in military operations has sparked substantial debate and discussion. On the positive side, AI integration promises to deliver significant advantages. For starters, it has the potential to provide soldiers with a more comprehensive and real-time understanding of the battlefield, thereby ensuring they maintain a strategic edge. Furthermore, since machines do not experience fatigue, distraction, or emotional fluctuations like humans, the margin for error is substantially reduced. Speed and efficiency are unquestionably enhanced. Yet, the most significant potential benefit lies in saving lives. If machines can assume more hazardous tasks, it translates to fewer human lives exposed to direct danger. Dawn Song, a professor at UC Berkeley and an expert in machine learning security, offers a more neutral perspective. She suggests that it's not necessarily the technology that's the concern, but rather how it's applied. According to Song, AI, like any other tool, is fundamentally neutral. It's the intent behind its use that determines its role in any domain, be it military or other domains. Song refers to the development of nuclear weapons and biotechnology as examples of how technologies can have both positive and negative impacts depending on human choices. But, and it's a big but, there are some real concerns. What about an AI weapon system that decides on its own who or what to target without any human input or control? It's a reality we're approaching. Some people believe these machines could actually be a blessing, pinpointing threats with razor-sharp accuracy and reducing accidental harm to civilians. However, there is also a valid concern that we may be delegating life-altering decisions to devices that lack a true understanding of ethical distinctions between right and wrong. Who will be held accountable if things go south? Can a machine really understand the value of a human life? And another unsettling thought, if machines are doing the dirty work, does war become an easier option? After all, if you're not putting your soldiers at risk, the stakes might seem lower. Furthermore, considering a more concerning aspect, we must contemplate the possibility of AI significantly improving weaponry or, even more alarmingly, conceiving entirely new and more potent weapons with heightened levels of lethality, stealthiness, or unpredictability. Additionally, there exists the unsettling scenario in which AI systems, initially designed to make strategic battlefield decisions, fail to align with human intentions. Furthermore, we cannot disregard the menacing prospect of adversarial forces successfully hacking into these AI systems, potentially causing catastrophic consequences. Now, you'd think with all these potential problems, there'd be a clear rulebook, right? Not exactly. The world's still playing catch up here. We don't have any international treaty specifically setting the do's and don'ts for AI in the military. Sure, we have laws of war, like the Geneva Conventions, which have been around for ages, but they didn't exactly have killer robots or deep fake videos in mind when they were drafted. AI in the military isn't infallible. Glitches are possible, especially given AI's data-dependent nature. If fed flaws, biased or outdated data, its decision-making becomes suspect. For instance, if it inherits human biases, it may make prejudiced or discriminatory choices. Now, shifting gears a bit, there's another wrinkle to this the strategic implications. AI has the potential to really change the game in warfare. It can make things happen at lightning speed, open up brand new ways to engage in conflict, and deliver intelligence faster than ever before. But with all these perks come some pitfalls. For instance, 
This rapid pace might leave little room for humans to step back, think, and communicate. The risk? Jumping to conclusions or escalating a situation before fully understanding it. If countries or groups continue to try to outdo each other with the latest AI tech, this creates unsettling tensions. Everyone is on edge, wondering if they will fall behind the AI arms race, and that can lead to quick and uncalculated decisions or conflicts. Dmitry Alperovich, a well-known cybersecurity expert and co-founder of CrowdStrike, a cybersecurity firm, describes AI as a double-edged sword. He believes that while AI brings substantial benefits in terms of protecting digital assets and infrastructure, there is also a potential downside to consider. Criminals can use AI for their nefarious purposes, potentially leading to advanced cyber threats that can exploit vulnerabilities in unprecedented ways. Alperovich cited the case of the Stuxnet worm, a sophisticated cyber attack targeting Iran's nuclear program, as an example of how AI can be used for offensive purposes. Now, addressing the complexities of AI in the military presents significant challenges. Nevertheless, there are potential strategies to mitigate these risks. Firstly, we must establish a robust moral framework. This entails not only creating new regulations, but also building upon established rules of warfare, human rights, and humanitarian principles. At its core, this framework should prioritize respect for human dignity and uphold accountability standards in AI-driven decision-making processes. Moreover, it's imperative to emphasize the human element we must ensure that there is space for human oversight and intervention. After all, while AI demonstrates intelligence, humans possess a level of judgment and finesse that machines have yet to master. And then there's quality control. When implementing AI in military context, we want reliable and secure systems. Think of it as setting the gold standard for how these technologies should work. That means building AI systems that are not only robust, but also transparent. If something goes wrong, we can research later and understand why. And since we're dealing with some pretty cunning adversaries, it's important to protect the AI from potential attacks or biases. Finally, it's crucial to underscore the significance of pushing the boundaries through research. Whether exploring novel applications of AI or comprehending its broader societal ramifications, research serves as a guiding compass. Yet, it's important to note that this isn't solely a technological endeavor. Nurturing accountability and ethical considerations among those at the forefront of AI development can profoundly influence the trajectory of the field. However, it's worth noting that the military is not the only domain facing challenges posed by artificial intelligence. Before we explore the challenges raised by the use of AI in other domains, please subscribe to our channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss our latest videos. Now. Let's uncover the potential impact of AI's evolution on politics. In fact, the convergence of AI and politics is like threading a complex maze with interesting rewards and potential pitfalls. The Republican National Committee this week using computer-generated video to show apocalyptic what-if scenarios for President Biden to be re-elected. On one hand, there's this promising vision of AI increasing political outreach driving more inclusive participation and even overhauling decision-making processes. But as there are two sides to every coin, the darker flip side of AI in politics can expose us to the risks of manipulation, deep bias, and the potential erosion of democratic values. A significant concern here pertains to AI's capacity to manipulate public opinion, whether through subtle or conspicuous methods. Imagine a tangible scenario where AI-powered technologies such as deepfake videos and voice mimicking tools possess the ability to craft entirely fictional narratives. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time, even if they would never say those things. Journalist Russell Berman touches on this concern, pointing out that cutting edge AI tools might not just be game changers for campaigns, but could potentially swing entire elections if deployed strategically. Follow the link in the description to check out the full article. This is a stark reminder that our technological leap, if left unchecked, can challenge the very essence of democratic legitimacy. However, manipulation is not the sole specter haunting the room. Another prominent concern is bias, often unintentional yet deeply ingrained. While we may envision AI as a powerful force for impartiality in political decision-making, the reality tells a different story. 
this concern is echoed by political philosopher Michael Sandel. While many hope that algorithmic decision-making can avoid all human errors, Anna Angelik, a socialist and brand strategist, warns against such optimism. In her view, algorithms, far from being these neutral entities, are reflections of the values of their creators. The idea that technology can provide a completely unbiased platform, according to her, is more myth than reality. Clearly, while the potential for AI to drive positive change in the political arena is immense, we need robust strategies to steer this ship away from a potential iceberg. To begin with, a solid foundation of ethical principles is important. We're not just talking about a hastily written set of guidelines, but a comprehensive, transparent framework that speaks to the core values of democracy. Think of principles that prioritize human dignity, personal autonomy, and privacy. Additionally, there's the matter of governance, and not just any governance, but the kind firmly grounded in accountability. We need mechanisms that not only observe, but actively question and challenge the role of AI in politics. The idea is to possibly have structures in the form of independent audits or impact assessments that act as watchdogs. In addition, public participation in these conversations can be invaluable. Public debates can be avenues where everyday citizens voice their concerns, hopes, and aspirations about the growing footprint of AI in their political realities. Individuals, whether policymakers or regular citizens, also play an important role. We desperately need to advance our collective digital literacy. When people understand the nuances, benefits, and potential pitfalls of AI in politics, they are better equipped to make informed decisions. This means investing in education and training programs that demystify AI. Think workshops for policymakers or media literacy programs in schools that break down the complexities of AI-powered political tools. Lastly, these strategies should prioritize a people-centered approach at their core. AI tools, no matter how advanced, should amplify human voices, not cover them up. Ensuring that the development and deployment of these tools takes into account a wide array of perspectives is vital to making AI's impact on politics inclusive. It involves making sure that AI, when applied to politics, actively listens to and accurately represents the diverse voices that comprise our societies. What are your thoughts about the dangers and risks of AI in military and politics? Do you think it does more harm than good? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more captivating AI breakthroughs.